Burkina Faso's economy is mainly based on material cultivation and livestock raising. It produces many basic products that are preparing for export to many countries of the world. Burkina Faso also depends on its economy on natural and mineral resources. In this video, we show you the largest current and future projects in Burkina Faso. But first, share the video and subscribe to the channel. The scope of the project includes the construction of a dam with a length of 2,900 meters and a height of 23.9 meters. It is capable of storing 1 billion cubic meters of water. In addition to a power station with a capacity of 2.9 megawatts, the works also include establishing irrigation networks to reclaim 1,500 hectares of agricultural land in the dam basin. This project is part of the Samandani Basin Development Program, which aims to promote sustainable growth in rural areas, improving living conditions by strengthening the agricultural sector and food security system in Burkina Faso. This project will create 100,000 direct and indirect jobs, provides a sustainable source of water. The project aims to increase the electricity supply in the country. It includes the construction of four new photovoltaic power plants with a capacity of 52 megawatts, expansion of the electricity distribution network to connect 30,000 new homes. It will also help reduce 48,000 tons of carbon dioxide equivalent per year. The project is expected to be completed within three years. It will increase the country's power generation capacity by 15 percent. This will significantly reduce their dependence on fossil fuel imports. The total cost of this project is $152 million. The construction of the Tama Port project in Ouagadougou, Burkina Faso, began in 2021. The inland port project will be built at Mbaba Cotton in the eastern province and Abre in the Savannah district. In addition to the logistics and industrial complex in Dabor, where the barge lines will connect them at a distance of 400 kilometers. The project will include the construction of two container ports along the river to connect the two cities. The project is expected to cost $200 million. It will be borne by local and international investors. Upon completion, cargo and fuel will be transported from Tamar Port to Ouagadougou. In addition to creating a competitive freight, the project will boost industrialization in the northern part of the country, promotes cross-border trade and regional integration, reduces government road maintenance each year. In order to increase regional influence and expand market channels, this project is the second successful project to win a tender between a foreign engineering company, a subsidiary of Hunan Engineering Group Installation Corporation and China Land International Engineering Company, Limited. The Marine Engineering Company is responsible for the production and installation of the tank farm for the oil depot. China Land International is responsible for the contents of the other construction of the oil depot. This signature is a new breakthrough in the development of the African market, and also another operational result of its continuous development and dissemination in foreign markets. This increases its regional influence. The project is expected to be completed in 2022. The cost of the project is 374 million US dollars. The Power Delivery Development Project is a plan launched by the National Electric Power Corporation of Burkina Faso. Burkina Faso plans to connect 6,000 households to the national grid by building 16 kilometers of low-voltage lines, and 2 kilometers of high-voltage lines and the installation of three transformers 160 kilovolts. The project aims to connect 50,000 new people in urban areas, such as Tanko Dogo, Ouagadougou, Kaya, Bobo Diolasso, Kaudougou, and Wahiga Uya. The user is connected to the national network. The project goal is to connect 250,000 new customers to the network each year. 
the medium term goal is to increase the electricity rate from less than 30% to at least 45%. The entire project will cost more than $294,000. This huge railway project will extend about 1,100 kilometers. 29% of them are on the Ghanaian side, in Burkina Faso. The project will start in Ouagadougou, and will reach via Kampixili, Mango, Bergdo, Galongo, Tinkodo, Bagarpool, Zabra, and Bao. The length of the Kolapaga border is about 320 kilometers. In Ghana, it starts at the port of Tema, passes through the eastern part of the country, and leads to the river port of Akasimbo to serve the north. Then the line intersects with Tamale, covering the central part of the country. It continues to Baga via Walwell, Bolgatongo, and Navrongo, with a total distance of 782 kilometers. The project will include 55 stations, tens of which will be in Burkina Faso. The railway linking project between Burkina Faso and Ghana will be implemented in 2022. The Burkina Faso Smart project has officially started, which was financed by the Export-Import Bank of China. The project consists of three modules of the National Core Network, Urban Access Network, and City Security. The construction content includes the addition of a 650 km fiber optic backbone. The access network to the metropolitan area is 150 km and contains 300 pole stations. A total of 900 cameras, 16 NELT base stations and 700 portable stations will be built in the capital, Ouagadougou, and the second largest city, Bobo Dio Lasso, to build a unified monitoring, alarm, command and dispatch platform with a build period of 18 months. After the project is completed, it will not only further improve the country's information and communication infrastructure and enhance the country's digital transformation. It will also help create a stable development environment and promote the country's economic and social development. What do you think is the best project in Burkina Faso? Are there projects that we did not mention? Write it down in the comments. Here we come to the end of the video. Share the video and subscribe to the channel.